Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Day three of the McFarlane Toys' winter showcase. We had Spawn the first day. We had McFarlane Toys' DC Multiverse the second day. And for the third day, we got me some more DC Multiverse figures. Now, just a quick recap. I do have a full video talking more in depth, but yesterday did show off the Deluxe, the Joker Dragon action figure. Also, we got the Infected Batman. This is the Batman of Earth-22. Basically, it's the Batman who laughs before he becomes the Batman who laughs. And then you have Duke Thomas in the Tales of the Dark Multiverse figure. And just to correct, basically up on the McFarlane Toys site, you could get all those figures in a bundle together if you'd like. And they have the unmasked Batman of Zor and Arg. It's actually going to be an exclusive to the store. So if you get all three, you get them in the bundle, and uh, it's kind of basically a free figure if you uh, if you do the math. Yeah, you got to pay for shipping and all that, but if you want all those figures, you can head over to the McFarland store now. Also, I'll have affiliate links down in the description below, Entertainment Earth, Walmart, Amazon, where applicable. They're not available just everywhere just yet, but... As with these new ones we're going to be talking about. Same deal. Thanks for using my links. Helps my channel to grow. So, to get into it, the first figure shown off today is the Ghost Maker. This is a relatively new character, future state. Very, very, just, one, very cool that they got it so quick to uh, action figure form. He is probably less than a year old now in his debut in the uh, in the comics, but... The basic backstory behind this is, remember like Batman the Animated Series with Kyodai Ken, that kind of thing? Think of it in that sense, we don't know much about him just yet, but it's like an old friend slash frenemy who has now joined Batman to uh, fight crime in Gotham. He's an anti-hero, he's kind of like Red Hood, kind of, I mean... You know what I mean? It's that whole, like, hey, Bruce Wayne, we were friends, and uh, you, I, I didn't like the way you do things, but you've changed my mind, and now I'm helping you fight crime in Gotham. So, he's kind of a bad guy, he's kind of a good guy, he's kind of an anti-hero, but in either case, yeah, he looks pretty cool. I'm interested to see how those legs work out, right? <laughs> in terms of uh, mobility. For all of the fans of the Batman video game Arkham Asylum, we are going to be getting the McFarlane Toys version of Killer Croc. First and foremost, it's a good looking figure. I'll give it to him all day. Not a huge fan of the overall designs. I think it's a good looking Killer Croc, but I would have totally preferred a comic book version. But then we just recently, I mean recent years we'll say, we got the uh, Mattel Build-A-Figure. That was the one of the last waves was the Killer Croc. That wasn't a bad one, not too shabby at all. This, I mean, he's a good looking figure. There's a lot of space in that packaging, I'm just saying. There's no extra hands, there's no accessories, there's nothing to it, and that's what's kind of a bummer, to be honest with you. There's so much space in that box. Yes, things are getting expensive and whatnot, but uh, uh, for a mega-sized figure, it would be really nice to have a pair of extra hands or, or some kind of a weapon, except something like that. That's all I'm going to say, but in either sense... I mean, it looks like it's painted well, nice colors overall. Looks like he stepped right out of the Arkham Asylum video games. I remember that, uh, playing that level or, you know, snippets of the of the game. What were you supposed to do, like uh, electroshock him, something like that, to uh, see it popping up from underneath the wall? I don't know. It was a cool game. God, I haven't played that thing in years. But uh, it's still nice to see that they're doing Arkham Asylum uh, video game characters, right? It goes well with the uh, the Joker and the Batman that were previously released. So, again, if you'd like a spiffy new Arkham Asylum Killer Croc, I'll have links down in the description below. But this is the big one for me. This is the one that I was like, ooh, yeah, that's uh, that hits the spot right there. This is the new McFarlane Toys' Man Bat action figure. A very favorite character, of course. Everyone loves Man Bat. Man Bat being the first... Villain, my first introduction, I think, basically to Man Bat. You know, maybe I kind of saw him in the comics, didn't really understand it, but on Leather Wings, of course, Batman the Animated Series is uh, it taught me all about Kirk Langstrom and his uh, bat problems, right? So to speak, this guy looks immense. He looks great. He looks huge. This is the DC Rebirth version of Man Bat. The one thing we'll say, there's a couple things, right? You kind of look at him, you go, okay, well, hopefully he stands well, right? He's got those uh, tiny, you don't want him too top heavy, like the swamp thing. That's number one. Number two, it does look like the hands are sculpted in, unless they took photos of perhaps a prototype. We'll have to see when, 
you know, the figures release and all that kind of stuff. So don't sell it out too fast. But uh, it looks like the hands are sculpted in. So while I would have loved some, I really would have loved some open hands, some grabby hands, something like he's coming after Batman, snarling, something like that. That would have been really cool. But we'll have to see how the hands go. And then third, of course, extra, well, uh, fold-out wings or, or wings that are outstretched to make him do the whole flying thing. This is, for me... The first thing I thought of was, in a way, yes, I've seen the comic books, the DC Rebirths, especially the cover, I think of which this kind of draws on, but it was very Legends of the Dark Knight, Kenner-ish to me, that's got that look to it for the Man Bat. So, again, I'm curious to see how it goes. All those things I kind of pointed out, yes, I wish the figure had. No, I don't want, like, three versions of this guy, but uh, he will look great, kind of sitting on the shelf, ready to attack Batman. I'll give him that all day. So, curious to see how all three of these go. I definitely want Man Bat, and I definitely want Ghost Maker. Killer Croc? Yeah, it's a, it goes either way. I'm a big fan of the comics version of Killer Croc, minus the tail. When he starts going like Lizard, no, I like uh, even Batman the Animated Series. I did like the gray skin. I did like when they turned him more into the green skin as well. So, Kind of goes either way for me. I don't mind the Arkham look, but it's not exactly my ideal look, right? If you kind of catch my drift. Also, just to kind of point out, McFarlane Toys did announce yesterday they will be doing a brand new three-inch line of action figures. These are called the Page Punchers line. The first lineup will include Black Adam and Flash. They got new movies coming out. And, of course, you got the heavy hitters, Batman and Superman. They're going to have around six points of articulation. Again, they're three inches tall. They're not 3.75 inches tall. They're three inches tall, which makes me think, because of what Spin Master's doing, it's probably going to have to fit within their license. So they're going to be doing the three-inch version. So they do look cool. I'm interested to see how those come out. The best part is, each, and I just was talking about this, each one comes with a comic book. For $10, figure in a comic book for $10, that's amazing. It gives the buyer some reference, gives the kids some reference. If you're not familiar, anytime an action figure can come packaged with a comic book, that is ingenious. Well done. Very Marvel Legends of them from back in the day. I'd love to see that with the 7-inch DC Multiverse. That tells you what. That would be... Awesome. So look for more of those details at a later date. And for those of you who sat through this entire video, thank you very much. Here's a little something something for you. Because of McFarland Toys' Winter Showcase, they were nice enough. They've given me a complete set of the new Endless Winter DC Multiverse figures to give away. So here are the rules to enter for this. You will win a complete set. All four figures, you can do the collect to build figure. The rules include you have to be living in the United States or Canada or have access to a mailbox to ship there. That's rule number one. Rules number two, please comment down below. This will be your entry, right? Simply comment below. What is your favorite McFarlane Toys' Winter Showcase DC Multiverse reveal thus far? Is it the Joker Dragon? Is it Man Bad, Killer Croc, Ghostmaker? Those deal. Pick one. Any answer will do, and that will be your entry. But again, please leave either in the U.S. or be a Canadian resident for the mailings purposes. And third, yeah, just please make sure you're subscribed. I'd really appreciate it, because we have lots of fun here, right? We talk about all kinds of different toys and such, and yeah, we're going to have a great time. So I invite you to the madness if you haven't already subscribed. Contest will run for about two days. For about 48 hours, I'll announce the winner on this coming Tuesday. So good luck in that sense. And as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think about these new action figures. Are they for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And of course, the page punchers as well. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, page punchers, right? It has to do with comic books and such. Don't, don't worry about it. It's a good name. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.